study biomedical engineering in Imperial College. My main advice for me, at least what it worked for me, uh, was to be as real as possible. Because even though in the interviews they can ask you tricky questions and technical questions, just be yourself and say what you know at the moment and don't like hesitate or uh, lower yourself or your low esteem. Just like go for it and be yourself. Don't try to memorize things or try to look intelligent. Uh, when you don't know something, just ask questions. Like people from Imperial, all, all of them are really supportive and yeah, just be yourself. So I did geophysics my undergrad here and then I went on to a computational masters and I'm actually doing a PhD. Still in the same building for my fifth year now, another. I study medicine at Imperial College. For me, I just so much practice for the interview. Um, obviously, get involved with everything at school. Start early enough. It's a process you need to plan and understand. Some people apply and they think they can do an application in a few weeks. But really, it's a process. There's a lot of logic behind it. You can figure it out. But start early enough. Start a year ahead, two years ahead. Reason it through and then build your application. Talk to people and they will get you what you want to get. But start early enough. One tip I learned for not being nervous is have little islands to fall back on, like islands of knowledge that you can link to any question they ask you. Um, and like build them like in the back of your mind, you have like six little islands and then any question you can just like link back. You need to show you're more than just an academic. Like you need the grades to get in, that's the basic requirement, but you need to show you've done other things. Usually if you can start up a club or society, or bring something useful towards this subject. There's nothing better than that, really. MBA, so Masters of Business Administration, Imperial College London Business School. The first thing I would say is definitely apply. Sometimes it's a bit scary. I was a bit scared before I applied because I thought they won't take me, whatever. Do it, you never know. Um, and I would say be very intentional about your application. So when I was doing my application, I had to think about not just what I've done in my undergrad, but what I've done outside of like the school environment. So I talked about the work experiences I'd had, the traveling I've done, the volunteering I've done. So it, basically they want to know about your whole life. It's not just about I'm a straight A student or whatever. It's about how are you as a whole person. So that would be my advice. I study design engineering at Imperial. I'd say from my experience you've got to show passion for like a sub-subject within the subject that you're trying to get into. One of the things, particularly for my course at MBA, um, a lot of my peers, similar to me, have work experience as well. So that I think that was really important and being able to highlight the work that you've done and how after the MBA you were either going to continue doing that or you were the MBA was going to help you make a complete pivot to do something new. So I think that's really important to highlight you as a person, the work that you've done. So I work in financial services, for instance, so I highlighted the years of experience I have in finance and service there. Because it's all, they're going to get so many applications of people who are reading the books that they recommend, studying the areas that they recommend on their personal statement, talking about quite general issues. So I think it really impresses the lecturers who are going to be interviewing you. If you can, I guess, like, find something that really interests you in kind of a smaller area of the subject and then go into that and then they might say, like, wow, that's really interesting, like, that's cool that you've done a bit of background research. Quite like to do that. I'd recommend you where uh, you can maybe find other people who are interested in that same subject at Imperial, and then they kind of like group it together. So it's all about research and all about showing divergent thinking into like certain areas. So that's where the progression will be made. I think. I'm graduating from the Embassy in Environmental Technology. So apart, apart from being motivated and doing the right things and having a good application, it's very important also to express your your interests that go beyond your studies, I think. So this means not just being good in the, in the topic or in the subject that you study or that you study your undergraduate studies, but also to show that you are an open-minded personality, that you can work together actually with international students in such a background like here at Imperial. I study strategic marketing. Well, I would say for the master's program to maybe get as much experience as you can, do some internships, speak to people in the industry and just understand the industry as a whole. I studied management. I think um, talk to people who've done the course before because that'll give you a really good insight into what's coming, what to expect, what you're going to learn and where you might go with your career. And it also will give you a good preparation for the interviews and the application because they're tricky, they're, they're long. You know, if you want to apply to other universities, you've got to do quite a few. Getting letters of recommendations, maybe for people from your old school, from internships, and then doing interview practice as well would be very helpful. I'm studying, well, I've just finished studying, just graduated today, um, an MSc in Hydrology and Water Resources Management. Just passion, passion to make a difference, sustainability, water resource management is really important. And 
and having doing an interesting undergrad like environmental sciences, geology, um, just geoscience, doing something along that line and maybe getting an internship in the environmental sector will help get into Imperial. So I'm currently doing a master's in hydrology, mixed with business management as a dual course at Imperial College. Yeah. Honestly, my biggest advice for at least when I did the process was not to overly worry about your pre qualifications or what's or about the reputation of the university itself. I just gave my most sincere cover letter I could give, just explaining what I had to offer rather to the, to the course itself. Yeah, I think for me, yeah, doing internship experience as well, just getting more practical work experience and technical skills as well. Um, well I had an internship at a tech company, so I was doing marketing there and I also did some marketing internships at an agency in Singapore. Um, so yeah, just getting varied work experience. And from there for the interview, I mean, it was nothing too, too strenuous. I mean, it was just with the professor, just asked me a few kind of easygoing questions, I was very relaxed about it. I made me relax, it made things so much easier as well. Uh, yeah, I think it's really important. I think water resource management is probably more and more important in the future. And I think getting into hydrology, hydrogeology, and the sciences behind water management is really important. And I would really recommend a master's at Imperial.